Welcome to the chapter on pre-processed care. So in this session, we are going to look and overview about care pre-processed workflow. Pre-processed care means applying some process to the plate or image before extracting key. So this step must apply whether working with image-based care such as luminance or screen-based care such as green screen or blue screen. The original input plate we will get to start a work on key will going to have all sorts of grains, markers as well as some light flickers artifacts caused during film scan process. And using this plate as it is for extracting key will result into making our mat or key grainy, hard and with artifacts. So the pre-process must be done prior to work. For pre-processing the keyer, the process includes denoising plate, marker removal, and tech checks. So at first, let's take a look at denoise. Here is blue screen input plate, and let's just say, if we try to key out using some of new keyers, such as key light, so our initial key might look like this, with having lots of grains, and which will get hard for tweaking so to make this into perfect white and perfect black with soft edges. And let's see if we apply denoise to the plate means using some new tools as well as powerful third party plugins to reduce the film noise or grains, we get nice soft plate. And be careful to apply a too much amount of denoise because it can eat up some of our details and can make input plate too soft. Now let's see after denoise is applied to our original plate with using the same new key light here to extract mat. Now here we can see our mat have less noise, especially on black region. As well as our mat is soft now. And Comparing with our original mat, we can see much difference. We have nice soft edges at the noise key as compared to sharp and grainy edges on original input plate key. So by looking at this result, one must always process the denoise operation on plate prior to work on key. This is must step. Now let's look at the pre-process using marker removal. So honestly speaking, a marker removal job is not the compositor primary job. Since in most of the studios, it is done by prep or paint department artist. And then compositor works on clean input plate. But in some cases, when paint or prep artists are busy on their another sequence or shot, or maybe there is short priorities, so we need to pick up that shot or sequence to work on. Then this process is primarily done by compositor. So here we have our original plate having markers attached to green backing for tracking or match moving purpose. So the tracking or match move artist use these tracking markers to calculate the motion of the shot. Then the same motion is applied to CG character as well as matte painting to line up them perfectly with our original input plates movement. And in this plate, some markers are at distance and some are near. And when we start to key out with markers, our key look like this. And we surely don't want to keep these markers with our key. And the markers which are at distance have really no big issue they can easily remove using garbage mat. But what about the markers which are too close and even some are blended with some of the character soft edges? We don't want them at all. But what process is used to remove markers without affecting to our nice soft edges? The one answer might be painting these markers using clone brush, where we clone with surrounding neighboring pixel. And second one might be using transformation to offset these markers. So both are great methods, but sometimes very tedious and time consuming too. In VFX production environment, uh, we care about time and time is money. 
painting on single image can be okay, but painting on sequence or shot might lead to flickering, especially when we play on 24 FPS. Of course, we don't want that. So we will use some secret tools and techniques, which only studios use. And I don't think if anyone out of the studio's people shown it or explain it to the world up to date. We will work with it in upcoming new lecture. It will be fun too. So coming back to our initial matte image, and here some our markers are well integrated with our character edges. So we need marker removal process prior to apply any key. In this next image, we have removed markers using industry technique and comparing with our markers plate, it feels like they did not even existed before. This is called a high quality work because every pixel matters. Also look for the key Our markers are fully removed and also noticed on soft edges. Before uh, they were integrated with soft edges and now they are all clean. So again, comparing with our both matte output, the first one is initial key with markers and second one is initial key with marker removed. Now moving on to the last lecture on pre-process that is tick check. Tick checks are mainly artifacts arises during film negative scan processing for digitization. And they occur due to the light leaking on film negatives. Film negatives get contacted with light exposure, etc. Film negatives must be digitized using scanning process in order for further digital use. For example, the format which we work on new like EXR, DPX, Cineon, are all come from a scanning process. So as on example image, we can see the flicker dot on blanket sheet and we need to remove it. So removing tech checks are very easy and fast forward process. The only thing we need to do is applying only single clone brush stroke and that's it. Sometimes tech checks artifacts are present on certain frames and sometimes they will not. But be sure to check it out before start work on keying. Practically speaking, this is the first step in pre-process operation done before denoise. And one should get into the habit of doing it on. So this is for this lecture. In, this, uh, in the next Nuke lecture, we will see how we can apply these concepts and workflows in Nuke. So see you.